Hello, I'm Jess Hyder from Unreal Engine. I am here at EGX 2017. Now with me, I have... Zach Kundal from Ocean Spark Studios. Yeah, and they are working on the amazing Tetra Elemental Awakening. So tell us, what is Tetra Elemental Awakening? Uh, current Tetra Elemental Awakening is a wave defense where we want the players to take control of four elemental guardians, but we wanted it to stand out from other games. So for example, we wanted to influence like different elements. We've got the fire, water, earth, nature, but you need a reason to switch between these characters. So obviously we wanted fire to be like the more tanky damage and there is so much involved in it. Now you guys have got a really interesting story behind how your team formed. So do you want to tell us more about that? Yes, so we are a team of four students from the University of Huddersfield. We decided we didn't want to go into industry and make cups of tea for people. We wanted to do what we love and obviously make a game that we would love and that we've always wanted to exist. So we're four months into development and we've just we've just gone in for it as, as hard as possible and people are so shocked that we're here. So making an RPG is a huge undertaking for anyone. How was it working with Unreal Engine to build that? incredible and we absolutely love it because there is so much within the engine itself that just helps you work with it. So you guys are quite early on in production, what are your kind of next steps for Tetra? The big thing for the future is providing we get the funds and can take time out of uni to do it. We want to make it a more player versus player versus game. Think World of Warcraft Arena but add more elements into it and a reason to play. Mixing tactical, like tactical things of MOBAs, so having somebody completing objectives to help the team, someone defending their relic, but somebody pressuring the other person's relic. So there's a long way to go, but we are so ambitious and we'll get there. Where can people go to find out more about the game and keep up to date with all the new announcements that you make? So we've got a website, which is www.playtetra.com. We've also got oceansparkstudios.co.uk, but Playtetra is the best one. We're uh, trying to build up a community forum on there because with the kind of game it is, we want the community to be involved. So that's the best place to keep in touch. And it's got all links to Twitter, Facebook, everything like that as well on there. So that's the best place to go to keep up to date with things. And if people want to get hold of a copy right now, you're also running a Kickstarter, aren't you? That's right, we are. So um, I believe it's a £20 reward at the moment that will get you a retail copy of the game plus loads of other goodies. People just really want us to finish it and they're like, oh, I want to buy this. And we're just like, okay, well, soon we'll release an alpha soon. Um, but we are doing a thing where if we are backed on Kickstarter by you, we will, it's only £5, you, you actually get a pre demo that you can play test for us and get in touch with us. And we're going to be talking to people personally to find out what's missing, what they think would be better, and what could be added, and stuff like that. We really want the community to be involved, so it's only right to keep in contact with people so perfect well you heard that here go and support them on kickstarter also go check out unrealengine.com and you can download the engine there and start making your own games